Hello and welcome to this week's CCB Kids Online. Today is Pentecost when we remember that God sent his special helper, the Holy Spirit, to Jesus' disciples after he'd been taken up into heaven. It's often called the birthday of the church. But in Bible times, Pentecost was a celebration of the barley harvest. To help us get a glimpse of what it was like, we found some old newsroom films recorded on the day when the Holy Spirit came. Let's have a look at them. Good morning. Crowds of people from many different countries are here in Jerusalem today for the celebration of the barley harvest. However, we understand that one group of people is acting very strangely. So we've sent our reporter, Molly, into the streets to see if she can find out what's going on. Thank you, Graham. Things are certainly very odd here. It's busy, as you'd expect on this holiday weekend. People are out and about enjoying themselves and there's a great party atmosphere. But there's a group of people causing a bit of disturbance and attracting a lot of attention. I have here with me two of those involved. Can you tell me in your own words what's going on this morning? Yes, I'm still reeling from what happened. It really blew my mind. There we were with the rest of Jesus' friends quietly celebrating Pentecost when suddenly a wing came from nowhere. Just imagine the sound of the loudest, most incredible, slightly scary, strongest ever wind blowing around the room because that's just what it was like. Not a little breeze but as if an enormous whirlwind was filling the whole house. Then, as if that wasn't weird enough, something like flames of fire came and rested on everyone's head. Not burning anyone or anything, just resting there. It was then that we all started speaking in different languages. Languages we hadn't ever learned, to spo learned or spoken before. Imagine what that must have sounded like just can't get any memory of the top of my head. No wonder you are all excited. That must have been amazing. Now several of the crowd are here to tell us what they saw and heard. I've travelled a few hundred miles with my family, as I've been doing for the last few years. But to be here in Jerusalem to celebrate Pentecost, this one topped the lot. I heard the sound of a loud wind and thought it must have been a tornado. People rushed towards where it seemed to be coming from. They had come from many other countries and were all talking in excitedly in different languages. It was so noisy. That's when we saw them. Jesus is friends from Galilee. And the sort of question of the crowd is the fact that speak to us. No one could quite believe there is. Every one of us could hear them talk in foreign languages. We definitely don't want to hear tales about the wonderful thing God had done through Jesus. I heard it in my own way. I thought they'd um, they'd had a bit too much wine to drink, but then I heard Jesus's friend Peter speaking in my own language. It's just like, um, it's just as if he could read my mind. He said, "What you're seeing and hearing 
didn't come from drinking too much wine. It's only nine o'clock in the morning. God said in the Bible um, that a day would come when he'd um, pour out his spirit on everyone, old and young, male and female, and amazing things would happen today, Peter said. That um, that day has arrived. Jesus is um, God, and just as God promised. <laughs> Everyone is talking about it and praising God in their own language. Just so you can get an idea of what it's like, I'm going to wander around recording the crowd. <laughs> Gode Gud, vad händer det? Vad är detta för någonting? Halleluja, halleluja! Nå dig ta mig söndag, Jesus i Wingsang. Ja, så unglaublich. Vi har en großes Lauschen gehabt. Dann haben alle Leute in verschiedenen Sprachen geredet. Dank sei dem Herrn. Jesus för Ola! Jesus för Ola! Jesus för Ola! Alhamdulillah, good day, shukruhu, Jesus is in the air, asman se kya ho rahe, hallelujah, shukruhu khudavand. The halo of haste is hokohomen. Khuda khub ba behraban hast, khuda ro sepas mi goyim. Khuda bazaarik hast, khuda ro sepas mi goyim. I've come, I've now come to the place where Peter is talking and a hush has fallen over the crowd again. He is explaining that Jesus is God's son. He had been killed but came back to life and met with many people, including Peter, before he went to be with God in heaven. Jesus had promised that after he'd gone, he would send the Holy Spirit to be with his friends forever. The crowd are asking, so what should we do? Peter is telling them to say sorry for the wrong things they have done and ask God to forgive them. Then he will send the Holy Spirit to them too. Thank you, Molly. The Bible tells us that on that day, about 3,000 people said sorry and were forgiven by God. They put their trust in Jesus and received the gift of the Holy Spirit themselves. Now let's go back to CCB Kids Online. We just heard about something that happened over 2,000 years ago. 
Yet what Peter told the listening crowd in Jerusalem is still a message for us today. If we put our trust in Jesus and say sorry for the wrong things we've done and the wrong things we've thought, he will forgive us and we too will receive his Holy Spirit to live in us, be with us and help us forever. Isn't that fantastic? Thanks, Carol. In fact, thanks to Carol and Graham and Frank and Karen and Helen and Jenny and everybody who's put so much effort into all these CCB Kids online presentations. They've been a joy to do and I've really loved being involved with the team all the way through. Thank you if you've shown up and you've been uh, one of the people who's read or prayed, if you've been uh, a, an exasperated parent who's learned how to become uh, a camera operator, uh, if you're one of the little ones who's overcome their shyness uh, to um, bring us the word of God, to do the reading or say the prayers or even be in the dramas. It's just been such a joy. And, you know, as Carol says, uh, the Holy Spirit is promised to us all. And it's the Holy Spirit inside us that takes us from being something ordinary and something that we recognise to being something extraordinary and doing things we don't recognise. That's the whole story of Pentecost. God, through his Holy Spirit, takes ordinary people and makes them say and do extraordinary things. And I think that's what you've been doing uh, over these last months uh, throughout the whole year. You've been letting the Holy Spirit do extraordinary things in you. We're all just ordinary people, but the power of God can do miraculous things. Well, that's the last of our CCB Kids online. And uh, next week, uh, there's a break. And then after that, on the 6th of June, it's an all age service in the church. And we would love as many of you to book in for that as possible. After that, uh, it's going to be the first Sunday that our kids work is going to be back in the church on Sunday morning. That's on the uh, 13th of June. The 6th of June is all age. The 13th of June is back in the halls with all the COVID restrictions. Then the same again on the 20th of June. And then finally, we hope on the 27th of June, we'll all be set free uh, to uh, start being able to mix again as we always have. So on the 27th of June, we should be able to gather safely, but without the restrictions. There'll be a slide to show you that again in just a moment. Can I also say uh, we are in real need of some helpers, some leaders uh, to get involved with Pathfinders. That's our 11s to 15s age group. So if you're interested uh, in having a chat about it, please speak to me or to Jenny or David uh, and um, or get in touch with the church office and Helen will be able to put you in the right place. But we'd love to have you come along and be part of that team because there's a real need as Jenny and David begin to get ready for their new baby. Anyway, now it just falls to me to say a prayer as we close this part of our ministry to you, our precious young people. Let's pray. Dear loving Heavenly Father, Thank you that you have sent your Holy Spirit into us and you make us able to do incredible things through your power and presence. We thank you for everybody, Lord, who has done incredible things on these videos and all of us who have heard them and worshipped with them and prayed alongside them. Father, as we go on now, as life changes again, we pray that we would continue to be people who do extraordinary things through your extraordinary Holy Spirit. Amen. Goodbye.